Hi, Carrie. You made a good point that many people, when they're trying to relieve themselves, they turn to Band-Aid solutions. I don't think Band-Aid solutions are bad, necessarily, but the idea of a Band-Aid solution is to mask the wound temporarily to ensure the wound is not getting aggravated, but the wound is still there. When I look at the idea of asking for change versus asking for relief, I see one as past-oriented and the other as future-oriented. When we ask for relief, I think it's important that we ask, what do we want to be relieved from? And when we ask for change, we are asking, what can we change it to? One focuses on what is bothering us, and the other one focuses on what we can put on the wound so that it stops hurting us temporarily. If we keep asking for relief from the same thing, day in and day out, then we probably need to take a different strategy on what we actually change. If we focus more on continuously changing things without noticing. If we focus more on continuously changing things without noticing what is actually bothering us, then we'll never get to the root of the actual issue. And the problem will, and the problem, and the pro, and the, and the problem will likely rear its head over and over for your entire life. I know many people who are viewed as radicals by society because whenever they say their solutions to different challenges, people say that their solutions would never work. Now, I think that that's because we're so used to band-aid solutions that when somebody suggests an idea that might be more taxing initially, but might have very beneficial long-term qualities, we literally can't wrap our heads around it. Last week, I reviewed a documentary for Hot Docs Film Festival that's taking place right now here in the city of Toronto called Maj Doris. It's about a 74-year-old woman who's native to Sweden and lives in the Arctic Circle in isolation there. You can find a link in the doobly-doo to my review. The film and her character made me think of a Swedish word called legom, which means just the right amount. So now here is my radical idea for you all to think about. How much is enough for you? Time, money, affection, food. How much is just the right amount? There are rising trends lately of tiny home living, uh, minimalism, post-economic interaction and trade, and human-centric learning. In Toronto, many of these ideologies are considered radical, especially by our government. But why? 